Richard asks about the pension bonus scheme. I mentioned this earlier in the session. So the pension bonus scheme was a tax-free lump sum for those who defer receiving the age pension because they continue to work for a minimum of 12 months. So this was basically trying to encourage people to continue to work beyond their age pension age. And it was beneficial for the government because they were not paying the age pension. It was beneficial for the the person working beyond age pension age because they're generally getting more than the age pension. So they're just a little bonus for them not to uh, take the age pension. But they stopped it and replaced it with the work bonus that I explained earlier in the session. Now, it's closed to new, new recipients. It was closed back on the uh, 20th September 2009. If you were not of age pension age at that date, then you don't have to worry about it. If you were eligible for the age pension before that date and you have had satisfied, you need to work, I think it's, uh, it's either, I think it's 960 hours per year from that date, if you satisfy that work test and you were eligible for the age pension, there are sometimes some late registration provisions that might might apply. So you could backdate that and potentially get up to about $40,000, I think it is, of age pension bonus, uh, sorry, pension bonus scheme bonus, um, if you were eligible. Now, if you registered for the scheme and you were of age pension age before the 20th of September 2009, and you continue to res- be main- remain eligible over those that period of time, you still might be eligible for the pension bonus scheme. So it depends on your particular scenario. That, that's uh, So current members can continue to accrue the pension bonus, but the mon- bonus de- depends on your eventual starting rate of age pension. So at the point in time at which you apply for the age pension, if you for some reason aren't eligible, and this might be a, a reason to apply for the pension bonus if you are eligible for it prior to the 1st of January 2017 once the asset test thresholds go down. Uh, So factor that in if you are, Richard, eligible for it. Yeah, review your involvement in the scheme, particularly around or before the 1st of Jan 2017.